Hello everybody, this video is going to be a special one for my Canadian friends. Because I hear it is Canada Day on the 1st of July, so which I think is when this video I shall release. Um, so what better than doing some maple leaves, and I absolutely love maple leaves. Um, this design actually was surprisingly more difficult than I envisaged trying to figure this one out, but I hope you guys like it. And I've done, uh, I've done one in red and orange, and I thought for this video we would do one in yellow. And I'm just using a DK light worsted weight yarn, and I'm going to be using a 3mm crochet hook but of course you can use any yarn and hook size that's suitable for the yarn you're using and it's always a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well so the first thing to do is try and pick up the yarn needle again <laughs> is we're going to take our yellow yarn this time and we're going to start off with 10 double crochet in a magic circle um, or we can do the easier method which will be chain four so for these ones I actually did 10 double crochet into a magic circle but I think for the actual video I'm going to do the easy method for beginners which is chain four to begin so one two three and four and all we do is we slip stitch into our first chain. So just put your hook into that first chain and slip stitch to bring the yarn through both loops to join. And that creates a loop of our four chains in which in the middle is a little hole. And into the middle there, we want to work our 10 double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over, put our hook into the center of our little loop of chains. We're going to ignore how many chains we've got now, we just work our 10 double crochet. So there's the first one. I'm going to do 10 of these. 2, 3, 3, I'm just going back into the centre each time and wrapping the double crochets around the chains. Four. Five. Six. Seven. one, ten. And you can always pull your tail end just a little bit to bring in that centre hole. It should come in a little bit. So check we've got ten, two, four, six, eight, nine and ten. Then we just want to put our hook into that first um, double crochet and do a slip stitch to bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook just to join the round. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to chain one, but bring up your yarn slightly just to keep it loose and do a chain one. And then in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into, you want to go back into that same stitch and do a, uh, a single crochet. So a single crochet in there. Then in the next stitch, we want to do a single crochet and we want to do a half double crochet, so yarn over, go back into the same stitch and do a half double crochet, come through all three. Then in the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet, pull through all three, and we're going to do a double crochet, so go back into the same stitch and work a double crochet. like so. Then in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet. So there's one. 
then another one in the same same stitch two double crochet then in the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet and we're also going to do a treble so we need to yarn over twice to do a treble and go back into the same stitch bring a yarn through and whenever you're doing stitches, double crochet is a new S terminology, double crochet and higher, you always put, pull through two loops. So you pull through two, pull through two, pull for the last two until you end up with one loop again that you're working with. So you've got a double crochet and a treble in that stitch. Then in the next stitch you want to do two treble crochets. So again yarn over twice, go into the next stitch and then just remember to pull through two pull through two, pull through two, until you end up with one loop again. We need to do another one of those. Let's go back into the same stitch and do another treble. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two loops. Okay, so you've got two treble in there. Then we're going to start coming back down again and in the next stitch we're going to do one treble crochet, so yarn over twice. Again, just remember to pull through two, two, pull through two, and in the same stitch we're going to do a double crochet. So go back into the same stitch and do a double. Then in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet. So one double crochet, then go back into the same stitch and do another double crochet. So you've got two in there, two double crochet. Then in the next stitch we're going to do one double crochet and we're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over, go back into the same stitch and do a half, pull through all three for a half double crochet. And then we're going to finish up in the last stitch with a half double crochet, pull through all three and a single crochet. So go back into the same stitch and do a single crochet as well. Then you want to slip stitch into your chain one and if you kept it loose enough you should be able to I always find the first bit of yarn then move my hook over to find the second so you end up with two bits of yarn above your hook and then you get one bit which you can't see very well there but underneath and just bring your yarn through and through the loop on your hook to slip stitch and it should look a little bit like that. So now we're going to move on to the next part and the first thing to do is the little stem. So we're going to chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Just chain eight. Then in the second stitch from a hook, so we don't count the loop on our hook, there's our first, there's our second, and in that second one we're going to do a slip stitch. And we're basically going to slip stitch in each chain back to the main leaf to so go into the next stitch and do a slip stitch. Next chain, do a slip stitch. Next chain, slip stitch. All the way back up, doing little slip stitches, and then the last one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch on the main leaf part. So in that next stitch there, we're just going to do a slip stitch as well. So it looks a bit like a sort of strange apple. <laughs> um, but now what we're going to do is in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and a half double crochet. So into the next stitch we do a single crochet to begin and yarn over, go back into the same stitch and do a half double crochet. There we go. Then in the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet to begin double crochet, then we're going to chain three, 
one, two, three. And this creates a little pico edge at the top of the, um, the points. We're going to slip stitch into our first chain. One, two, three. And in our first chain, put a hook back in there and then just work a little slip stitch. That creates a little pico on the end here, as you can see. We'll do that on each corner. Then yarn over and going back into the same stitch that you just did that double crochet in there. We're going to go back into that same stitch and do another double crochet. So basically in that next stitch you've done a double crochet, chain three, slip stitch, double crochet, all in that same stitch. Then in the next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet and a single crochet. Just to bring it back down and mirror the other side. So a half double crochet, then back into the same stitch and do a single crochet. That completes your first um, point of your leaf. So moving on we're then going to do a single crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet, back into the same stitch, do a half double crochet. So each stitch round basically has two stitches in it. Then in the next stitch, actually it doesn't always have two, it might have more, so ignore that. Uh, in the next stitch we're going to have um, do a double crochet. double crochet and then we're going to do two treble crochet in there as well so remember we yarn over twice get back into the same stitch and then remember pull through two pull through two pull through two I'm going to do another one of those another treble so wrap around twice again go back into the same stitch this is why we don't always do two stitches we're actually doing three this time <laughs> just realize that as I said it so there we go pull through two so in that next stitch you've done a double crochet and two treble crochets. Then we're going to do our little pico, so chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into your first chain, get that little pico. Then in the next stitch, so we're not going back into the same stitch now, moving on to the next stitch and we're going to do our two trebles, so yarn over twice, go into the next stitch, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, then another treble, back into the same stitch, pull through two, pull through two, then we're going to do a double crochet, all in the same stitch, go back into the same stitch again, do a double crochet, so you've got three stitches in there as well, okay, so you've got two treble and a double, then in the next stitch we're going to do um, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. Go back to the same stitch to a single crochet. Then we're going to do, so that completes our second point. Then in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. So a single crochet and a double crochet. all in the same stitch. Then in the next stitch we're going to do a treble, so we yarn over twice for a treble to the next stitch. Remember pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. But also in that stitch we're going to do two double trebles, so to do that we yarn over three times, one, two and three. Try and keep it quite loose, you don't want it too tight. And going back into the same stitch bring the yarn through and it's the same principle just pull through two until you get to the end pull through two pull through two pull through two so you run out of loops and I'm going to do another one of those another double treble one two three times same stitch and just pull through two like so then we're going to do our little pico we're going to chain three one two Three, slip stitch in our first chain, like so. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do our two double trebles. One, two, three. So wrap it round three times. Go into the next stitch and do a double treble. So pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Then another one. One, two, three. Wrap around three times. 
to the same stitch for two oops went a bit wrong oh mess that up so let's do that again wrap around three times back into the same stitch pull through two pull through two pull through two pull through two that's better and then we're gonna do a treble which is just wrap around twice same stitch again pull through two pull through two pull through two do you run out of stitches uh, loops then in the next stitch we're gonna do a double crochet and a single crochet nice and easy double and a single that completes the biggest point on our leaf then we just need to repeat this one and then at the end repeat that one so this one was um, a single crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch single crochet and a half double crochet in that next stitch then we did it one double crochet no we didn't and we didn't we did a yes we did one double crochet just ignore me one double crochet in the next stitch <laughs> One double crochet in the next stitch. Next stitch, but we're also going to do two trebles. So yarn over twice. Go into the same stitch. Pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. And do another treble. Yarn over twice. Pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. So you've done. You've done a single crochet and a half double crochet, then a double crochet and two treble crochets. Then we chain three to do our little pico. Two, three. Slip stitch in your first chain. Then in the next stitch, we're going to repeat that down. We're going to do two trebles. So yarn over twice. Go into the next stitch, do a treble. Then another treble. The same stitch. Another treble. And then in the same stitch again, we're going to do a double crochet. Same stitch again. So you end up with three in there. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet and a single crochet. Half double crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch. And that should leave you with three stitches at the end. So the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and a half double crochet again. Single crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. And in the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet. Then chain three. One, two, Three to do a little pico, slip stitch into your first chain, then yarn over and go, going back into the same stitch you did that double crochet in, do another double crochet, like so. Then we're going to finish up on a half double crochet and a single crochet, all in the same stitch, so a half double crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch. Then to finish, what we want to do is making sure your yarn that you're working with is behind your stem stalk bit. We're just going to put our hook somewhere over here, it doesn't really matter where, bring that from the back and do a slip stitch. That just finishes it off. Then we're going to cut our yarn, bring that through. Then we just need to hide our tail ends. With our yarn needle, so what I do is I send that to the back. Turn it over and just sew over a little bit and then sew in the opposite direction a little bit and trim the excess and you can trim the one at the beginning and there we go, there's our finished maple leaf. And this time it's in yellow. So now we've got a yellow, an orange and a red. So there we go. So I hope you enjoy making some maple leaves. And if you're from Canada, um, 
then I hope you have a wonderful Canada Day and I shall see you soon for some more crochet fun and do check in on Friday for a certain special 4th of July one as well for my American friends. Okay, cheers for watching guys, see you soon, bye!